It's from the Latin pomus, meaning apple, and it is fruit growing. <laughs> Smarty pants. <laughs> going to contradict me. I'm going to disagree. Oh, you fool! The science and practice of fruit growing. Whoa! gets a square. For you. We have a mnemonic device sitting right below us. Yes. A very good mnemonic device. It is the whoopee cushion. Ooh, we the whoopee, whoopee cushion. cushion. Ooh, we a cow. I'll agree. You <laughs> fool! You <laughs> fool! <laughs> the rubber, I'm lying to you. Rubber chicken is the rubber what chicken. Yes. Chicken. Yes, Look square. at me! I'm a liar! <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> I lie! <laughs> In a, in a poll, 94% of Hungarians, compared to only 46% of Americans, said doing this was necessary to feel fulfilled. Doing what? Seeing Wayne Newton live. <laughs> <laughs> um, having a child. I disagree. You fool! <laughs> having, having a child is correct, David. Oh my God. When she, this happened first season, too, didn't it? Yeah. When she heard that Phileas Fogg had done it in 80 days, journalist Nellie Bly beat him by doing it in 72 days. <laughs> what did she do? Get through to the cable company. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know this. Trust me. Trust me. Uh, this is rowing the Atlantic. I'm going to agree. You fool! <laughs> Tuning in, welcome to the Gilbert Gottfried Show. <laughs> its French designer named it the Atom because of its small size and the explosive effect a woman would have when she wore it. Today, it's better known as. It's in my pants! <laughs> <laughs> but your thumb's covering it. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, it's covering it right now. Boy. <laughs> What significance does 1908 have if you were a Chicago Cubs fan? Uh, that's the year you were in Chicago! <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's the last perfect pitch game. <laughs> I'm gonna agree. You, you fool! fool. Steve Austin is a big, bad professional wrestler fully known as... Tubby! <laughs> no, I know this one, because yeah. I used to wrestle with Steve oh. Austin. Oh. The Crusher. The Crusher. I'll agree. You fool! Stone Cold, girl. Stone, Stone Cold, Cold Steve Austin. Valerie, we're going to give fool. you... <laughs> Valerie. This was an incredible half hour and a transcript of today's show. You fool! <laughs> In England, if it's 92.5% pure, what gets stamped with a lion? Uh, I think uh, that's, uh, that's silver, I believe. I disagree. You fool! <laughs> You're from Derbyshire, England, right? Derbyshire. Oh, whatever. Well, <laughs> so I screwed that up. You screwed up the answer. We're even. Uh, yeah, Silva. <laughs> Circle gets the prize. All right, guys. Who did George W. Bush name as his favorite philosopher? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's the answer. <laughs> I disagree. You fool! Who else would it be? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yes! yes that, that's it. X. What do you think he's read something else? <laughs> Egenwa, Okwe, Uta, Siglu were four of the first men to finally go where? 
I'm not a foreign man. <laughs> <laughs> now that's uh, that's with those names like that, you can pretty much you can pretty much tell by the question. I wouldn't be able to bring those up in my mind, but those are that's Everest, right? All right, first man to go to Everest. I agree. You oh, fool! The North it's Pole. North Pole, you North Pole. That's right. He's right again here. It's too late for you. I handed right, it sir, to you on a plate. A laser pointer on your head. Or, uh, <laughs> in the Bible, who finally read the handwriting on the wall? <laughs> that was either Mel Gibson or his father. I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, Tom, I'm not a religious man. <laughs> But actually, I do know the Bible. I mean, the Bible and I are like this. <laughs> but uh, I believe that is Daniel. I'm sorry I can't bring up the last name, but I believe it's Daniel. <laughs> I disagree. You fool! Who would know the Bible better than me? <laughs> Daniel. No! Yes! Yeah. Smile! All right, guys, Woman's World reports this is the place women feel the most stressed. Where? Driving. <laughs> Go ahead, just agree with me. Driving. Look in my eyes. You can tell. You're going to smile. You're going to applaud. Driving. I disagree. You fool! 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 You Using the heads of Barbie dolls can be a great boon to doing their jobs. What profession? Okay, Sandra, it's just you and me, baby. Oh. Look me in the eyes. I'm yeah. either telling the truth or lying because you don't know the real answer, do you? You just have to rely on me. So it's just down to how much you can tell if I'm telling the truth or lying. I have told the truth every single answer I've given this whole week. True. Look in my eyes. Fishing. I agree. You're right! Yes, fishing! That's right! That's right.